Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. In this video, you will find a brief overview about the rules for grouping of cells in a K-map. Basic introduction about Carnot map is available in our previous video. Kindly check the link given in the description. Carnot map is the method used to minimize and simplify the Boolean functions. It works on the basis of complement laws. X plus X bar equal to 1 and X dot X bar equal to 0. Thereby, to cancel a variable in K-map, we need pairs of variables and their complements, which is done by grouping. And K-map uses some rules for grouping of adjacent cells. We will check out a simple explanation for these rules one by one. The first rule states that for min terms, groups may include only ones. Zeros are never allowed. Similarly, for max terms, groups may include only zeros and ones are never allowed. So, in this example of min terms, the grouping should never be done with zero. The groups should include only the cells containing ones. Groups may be horizontal or vertical, but they cannot be diagonal. This grouping is wrong because it's done in a diagonal direction. These two groups are perfectly allowed. Groups must contain 1, 2, 4, 8, etc. terms. That is, the total terms of the group must be in powers of 2, like 2, 4, 8, etc. Groups made up of 3, 5, 7 terms are all not allowed. Here, this is the group of only one term because there are no adjacent cells containing a 1. So, this is allowed. This group contains 3 terms and it is not allowed. This is a group of 2 terms called a pair. It is allowed. Again, this is a larger group of 4 terms called a quad. It is also allowed. Similarly, you can also make an even larger group of 8 adjacent terms called an octet. All the ones in K-map must be covered by at least one group. Only then, the grouping would be considered complete. In this example, we first make a horizontal pair, then a vertical pair. Yet, the grouping is incomplete. Now, we make a group of the single cell containing a 1. No ones are left without grouping, so the grouping is said to be complete. Groups should always be fewer in number and larger in size. In this example, at the first instance, we try making groups of two adjacent ones. They become many pairs. This is incorrect because it has many smaller groups. So, while grouping, we must always try making the largest possible group. First, to check whether an octet is possible. There is no such possibility here. We then try making quads, group of four adjacent cells. Here we go. This is one quad. Again, we prefer making a quad than making a pair even if it is overlapping. And finally, we make a pair because there are only two adjacent ones. Now, the grouping is correct. It has fewer but larger groups. Another rule states that overlapping groups are permitted. As we had seen in the previous example itself, groups may overlap whenever possible to make larger groups and to cover up all the ones in the K-map. The same cells might overlap any number of times until all ones get covered. Groups may even wrap around the table, that is the K-map. Instead of making smaller groups like this, the rightmost cell may wrap around with the leftmost cell to make a larger group. Similarly, the top cell of K-map could wrap around with the bottom cell to form a larger group. That way, we get fewer groups larger in size. Okay then, it's done for today. Hope this video would have been informative. There are more interesting concepts explained in our videos. Kindly check our other videos. Like, share and support our channel. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Hit the bell icon for sure. Thank you for watching.